Hello there, we are in my garage with the Ford Ranger EV truck. Uh, I'm behind the camera, you can see me in the reflection there. Um, I've got my MacBook Pro laptop here, uh, valence batteries in the back of the truck, and I've got a USB adapter that, uh, what that is, is kind of a little generic USB adapter, but I have it connected up to one of these plugs that matches the um, BMS connectors that are on the batteries in the truck. So I've got that going to a cord over here uh, to all the batteries. So on the computer, unfortunately, I do not have a PC laptop, and the software is PC only. Um, for the valence software. So I've got the valence software here and um, I am running Windows 10 in VirtualBox on the MacBook Pro and if I open up the valence um, software here, give it a second to load, um, in here this gives us all the various options and let's take a look here. Uh, the first thing is in the COM port because uh, obviously where we're connecting to is kind of important. Uh, with a little drop down, there is nothing in there. Um, but if I type in COM3, and now if I go to locate battery, uh, the big cool thing is, hey, I don't get an error. It's at least trying to communicate. So it says uh, the battery I'm looking for is a U27-12XP Rev12 with an ID of 2. Eh, okay, that's something. It, it's working at least. And the other thing that's kind of interesting is if I actually look way down here on this little connector, when I do that, um, I get a little tiny blinky 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 on that connector while it's, it's doing that. So it, it shows that the USB connector, it's, um, it's active. It's actively uh, communicating. The other thing is I did have to double check my wires here. Uh, 5 volt power is the outside wires and the communication signal is the two inside wires and those are uh, straight through wired. It is not crossover right there. But let's get back to looking here. So what I found so far is I can try using the locate battery feature, and that seems to work in that it, it just tells me something really, really basic about the battery. Other, but I don't, I'm not actively communicating to any battery, so I don't have any information. I did find if I go to bat system info and I hit scan, it does attempt to communicate, it does a scan, but it also doesn't actually find any modules. It's like, nope, sorry, couldn't find anything there. Uh, there's also another button that says Exit Cal, so I don't know if that's um, calibration mode, but same thing. If I hit there, it does some sort of a scan and says, nope, sorry, didn't find anything for you. So um, I'm communicating, but I'm not really getting any useful information yet out of any of this. Okay, so if I go back to Locate Battery, I click that. Seems to communicate. Okay, it says a battery. Um, I can look for a different module ID, uh, I don't know, module 13, hit locate battery. Basically, same thing, it, it seems like it's trying to communicate here. Uh, and again, this is connected to the string of batteries right now. But if I go to start read, it's going to say, please select a data logging directory. Okay, so over under battery info, I can set up a logging path. I'm just going to browse to one that I already set up on the Windows user's desktop uh, valence logging folder. I'll go, okay. but So I've got the data logging set up, but now when I actually go to start read, it's going to give me an error. It says access to the path, blah, 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 blah. Uh, module diag g2.config is denied. I have no idea why that's going on. Maybe that's a, a, a Windows um, access thing. I'm not sure. But this is bugging me because I'm sure if I wasn't getting this, I'd, I'd be getting some sort of information and it's uh, not great. So that's about all I can really do in here right now. You know, I had to make sure that I manually typed in COM3. Um, Windows 10 recognized my uh, USB 
connector down there when Windows 7 did not could, could not get it to work with Windows 7. Uh, the other thing that is kind of interesting here is after I was able to talk to the string of batteries here, um, all the green lights are now flashing um, simultaneously, which is pretty interesting. Um, I might actually just hit the lights because that's way cooler looking. So now if we look at that little green blinking communications light, wait for it. Boom, they all light up at the same time. So it's every however many seconds, but they're all connected. They're all flashing at the same time. I've never seen that before, but obviously being connected together, um, the software is doing, doing something here. So that's where I am now. I'm kind of stuck, but I did at least get some uh, communications going on. Um, maybe I can dig up a PC laptop somewhere. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. I don't know. But making progress, kind of, sort of. That's it for now. Bye-bye.